one of the things I asked Jordan is that because of the like separation that you got that your two characters have had, mm. we are seeing you guys in a totally different way this year. Uh, how, how has it been kind of playing a version of Jennifer that doesn't have, like, I mean, she does, but she doesn't know it, but doesn't have the Khalil relationship kind of hanging over what's going on in her life? Oh, man. You say, how does that, how does that change her? I mean, it's changed her a lot. The entire Khalil situation was a lot. I mean, they went from dating and just being two teenagers when she, before she knew she had superpowers to him being paralyzed and then coming back and working for Tobias, killing her father, attacking the school, all of that stuff. And then when they went on the run and she was trying to keep him alive, she got close to him again in a way that she wasn't before. And so him passing was <laughs> very difficult for her and she's still feeling the effects of it this season. And um, it's gonna be really interesting when she finds out that his body is up and moving even though he is different. I, I gotta say, I think one of my favorite beats in the season so far was the very jaded, uh, when you took that precious snowflake student through the school, <laughs> and you're like, this is where my boyfriend killed a bunch of people. Right, exactly. <laughs> to the left, to the right. That was one of my favorite scenes to do. I was like, this school tour is the realest school <laughs> tour I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, that was a fun scene. Does Jen have any problem with the notion that her mom is working all the time? I don't know why you ask that question, but yes. <laughs> and, and actually, you're going to see more of that later on in the season, like a little later in the season. I don't know why you asked that question. You might, okay. What? Nothing. No, it's in the episodes we've seen already where she's oh, it is. got the green light. I didn't light. really address it. No, 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 we haven't seen that yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're okay. psychic or something, bro. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to be a theme later on in the season. And will she butt heads with her dad over how to handle what's happening in Freeland right now? Oh, yeah, she's going to butt heads with her dad, um, with her sister, um, with Lynn, but in different ways. I mean, she really is on her own right now. That's how she feels. Her sister is out killing it as Blackbird, and Black Lightning is trying to stay as low-key as humanly possible, but she's... She's working with Odell, whether she should be or not, and she's kind of doing her own thing, so we'll see how all of that comes to a head once they get back together and realize all of the secrets that have <laughs> been kept on all sides. And, and is that important sense of independence what Odell's sort of um, mm. counting on with her? Oh, for sure. For sure. He's counting on being able to take her humanity and use it. That's what he's counting on. And also telling her that I mean, your father's wrong. Your father's methods aren't working. You know what I'm saying? They haven't worked for years. All of that, he is being very manipulative. And he's also playing both sides. So, yeah, that's going to be difficult for her. Uh, I, let me stop saying later in this season. <laughs> I don't want to keep giving up with it. Um, so, so, speaking about a change in methodology, you know, mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Anissa and Jen's relationship throughout the show has always been very tight and loving. Right. Um, is that going to change now that Anissa's kind of assumed a different heroic identity and more ruthless methods? It's a great question. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, no, actually. No. Okay. It's not going to change because they've always had a certain type of relationship. Like you said, they've always been very close and they've always loved each other. And that is going to remain the same no matter what happens. But with all of the secrecy that's going on in this family right now, that's gonna cause more problems than what Jennifer knows about. You know what I'm saying? Got it. That Blackbird is doing. So we know you're not allowed to give any details at all, but what was your reaction when you heard that Wayne Brady was coming onto the show? I, I freaked out. But I freaked out at home because <laughs> I didn't hear about it until it was on the internet. So I was like, dead! <laughs> I was like, what in the world? And I had to see if it was real because I didn't know. Because somebody the world on the cast knew. has to check that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, nobody told me on this set. But it was, yeah, it was a really, really exciting reaction for me. Very cool. Yeah. 
Do you think Jennifer is used to the ups and downs with uh, with her parents' relationship, or or is it always going to be a fresh wound every time it happens? Um, I think that she's gotten more used to it at this point, and I think that she's tried because of all the ups and downs in the past. She's tried to not get her hopes too high about their relationship or about them getting back together and them being a family again, a real family. I think that she's let that go for now, but hopefully, hopefully she gets to a point to where that's actually what they are and she doesn't have to worry about it anymore and she doesn't have to be nonchalant about it. She can put all of her faith back into that because her and Anissa both need their parents. You know what I'm saying? Both of their parents together to give them advice and to pull them and rein them back in when they're wilding out. With that said, has it been fun to play a more mature Jen this season? Oh, it's been so much fun. I was talking about that with, with my dad the other day. Because of everything that she's been through, she's very different than she was first season. First season, Jen was, you know, real spunky and feisty. And this season, she's... She's changed. She's changed a lot, and I really like playing that because, you know, it, it's different for me personally as a person because things have happened in my life to where I've changed, and, and I've gotten to express that through the character. So it's exciting for more reasons than one. On that, that said, like, Jen seems to be pretty okay with the ASA right now. Like, she seems to have kind of gone all in. Mm -hmm. uh, how... How traumatic is it going to be for her when she realizes there's a lot of stuff that she doesn't know about? Uh, I think it's going to be traumatic, but also she, she's a smart girl. And she knew, she's known this whole time, and I've been keeping this in my mind while I've been playing the scenes with Odell. Mm -hmm. She's known that she shouldn't trust him. Mm -hmm. She's known that... Okay, I agree with this part of what he's saying, but there's a whole host of other things on the right that I'm not sure about or that he's not telling me. So it's going to be pretty, it's going to be devastating a little bit, but part of her knew the whole time. Guys, this is our last question. Can you talk about any um, back and forth give and take that you might have with the writer's room about developing a sense of Jen's emotional state over the arc of the last three seasons? such a great question it's been pretty it's been pretty heavy I mean the writers are great and they do their job well but to remain human and grounded with our characters and with the characters that they have given us and said put a face to this put put your soul into this character and bring her to life you get attached and it's no longer a character, it's a person with her own characteristics and idiosyncrasies and things that she has, that she does. So it's been pretty heavy and it's just grown over the course of this season uh, and over all the seasons. And I'm grateful for that. I'm happy that the writers are open. I'm happy Salim is open because we need it to be able to keep the characters the way that we know them today. Like a lot of the sister jabs that you guys throw back and forth feel like ad lib and improv. <laughs> it feels like y'all are just clowning each other, and it's like, was that written or is that just some what? shit that came up? Like a lot stuff? of them are. I mean, a lot of them are ad libs because they let us do that. And for Salim, it's more important that it feels real than just stick to the lines on the page because when you do that, it's just you're just reading lines. You know, but when they give us the freedom to really do our thing and say, guys, this is not right. This is not what my character would do. I know her well. So trust me. They listen to us. That's awesome. Thank you.